very brief comment. I'm very pleased, as you can probably tell, that we're finally moving ahead with this capital plan and specifically with planning for the bus terminal, which is a critical project everyone acknowledges for both New York and New Jersey residents. This work must begin as soon as possible to ensure we're responding to the needs created by an aging terminal and an increasing demand. To that end, it's very important, I think, to note that this resolution does not preclude the study of any additional options for providing cross-Hudson transportation. We continue to acknowledge that while the bus terminal is a critical first step and is necessary irrespective of what else is done, it is only one piece of a menu of options that must be in place to meet the needs created by future demand increases. To suggest that we should delay or stop the Port Authority bus terminal renovation would imperil the safety of our commuters um, if uh, we're to do that only to study additional alternative projects that are worthy of study and may need to be done. So the Port Authority reserves the right to study additional options necessary to satisfy cross Hudson transportation demand. We started that when we convened the May 2015 summit on Trans Hudson Crossing, which I believe led significantly to the recommendation of the two governors as to how the gateway tunnel should provide. And we clearly addressed that in the 2016 Trans Hudson Commuter Capacity Study. Uh, I, the work is being done. To the extent additional studies should be presented to the Port Authority and additional options could enhance the ability to cross the Hudson in addition to the bus terminal, we should do that. The bus terminal is not a one-size-fits-all solution, just one part of the piece of the fabric that need, we need to do in order to enhance trans Hudson crossing. Uh, with that, uh, and if there are no other comments from the commissioners, Commissioner